Hey guys, this is Smokey Cat, and I'm going to show you how I handle wars with my Ghost Cat account here. So, I have a war that I'm working on with uh, this alliance called Defiance 420. And I am the top character here. And uh, what I do for these wars, as soon as we have a, a war, I will usually go out and search throughout the uh, bases. And I will tell each of my uh, people that basically an enemy intel. So I basically tell them which, what are the top bases and uh, go in and search the uh, alliance to see if they're active, what the prestige level is, if there's any surprises on the bases, like uh, one of the bases I saw earlier um, was a level 40 base with a HQ-19, which is pretty impressive. Now, what does that do? Is it, this the Colossus wasn't that big. Research agency did not match, so I didn't even mention it as a top base. When the when the HQ and the research agency match, that's when I worry. So if this per, if this person had a research agency that was 19, then that means that we would have been seeing uh, level 19 strikers possibly. So that's what I would warn about. But in this case, the top base was HQ 17. This base here, 52, which is my recommended, and uh, yeah, Marco. There it is, Marco. Level 57, also an, an HQ 17. I'm a HQ 22, so I should have no problem beating these guys. But what I wanted to show you is basically when I want to make sure that, not, that I'm not seeing any surprises, I click on the enemies tab and then I review their level. You can see at the very top, and then that's not always the case that they're at the top. In this case, these were the first two that had joined or the, uh, the alliance. So Blue and Marco are both HQ-17s. We scan down here, we see in, in a, Ionut is the uh, second our third base. Somebody's already taken him out. But basically, I use the enemies list to see who's left. And then, if I'm going to be attacking with other bases, I can sort of look to see what is comfortable, comparable to my level, or to see which one is going to be uh, within the range. So in this war, I have Ghost Cat and Mew here. It's a level seven. Um, HQ5 base I believe and that's all I have in this war so what we're gonna do is show you how I research this so in this case the uh, enemy alliance is called Scombinati so I click out click on the wreath icon just hit search and even though it's a colored uh, alliance name I should be able to just type in Scombinati Naughty, and see what comes up. Well, that's the only one that shows up. There's only 15 in this war, so they got 35 members, and uh, 20 are showing active. But we can see that their prestige level is six. I think our level is three, prestige level. And uh, Marco is their top guy. Um, General's blue. And we already saw that Marco and Blue are both HQ-17. Um, but what I usually do is when I see that a new war has been given, I usually go to the war bases and then I start, because before the war starts, you won't be able to click on a, a battle log and then see the enemies. You have to sort of go from one to the next. So I usually use one of the arrows, either left or right, to quickly scan through all the bases and uh, go around each one so I can see the levels so that I need to check on the ones that are most uh, dangerous for the whole crew. If the uh, HQ is high, the research agency is high, I tell my alliance members that you can expect 
level whatever um, if it's a HQ 19 you can expect level HQ 19 uh, troops so this is what I do when right beforehand and I'm going to be attacking uh, and I usually take the highest one I can so in this case I'm going to take Marco but before I do that I am going to make sure I have the resources to be able to attack and attack properly. So I'm using mostly strikers and a few, a couple uh, tarmacs of rangers. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up strike force. Each one of these uh, starred strike force will give uh, five XP to the to the alliance, which helps the alliance. I'm going to go ahead. And and do all those first and then I'm going to go to my Facebook characters and in this case I'm just going to choose the first one here in each of the list and that sort of rotates from time to time so now I'm going to apply them that's that's the next step sometimes you forget to apply everything so I'm just going to spread these out and get a my rangers are most uh, vulnerable, so I'm going to give them the extra power. And then the other thing is I need to put in my command points. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a command point. I don't need to use my uh, AC-130. It's not a very high base that I'm going against. So, And uh, just you also want to make sure that you have your alliance reserves. Um, I got level 20s from my Major Cato and I'm ready to attack. I got 14 minutes or so left on my strike force and I'm going to go ahead and attack. It wants me to attack blue. I will probably attack him later but I'm going to go after Mar Marco first because it's the highest base. And it's a so I'm going to check on he's got a Viper level 7, mine is a level 12. He's got mostly um, you can see uh, mostly uh, spiders Spiders there, spiders here. We don't know there, so I'll be, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, maybe five total of the uh, of the rally points. So if I go to it and attack, I should be able to see if they're starting to mobilize right away. Those guys are sort of stationary. And what I might do is go ahead. Oh, looks like they got some strikers there. So I'll bring in my Viper. And let's go ahead and bring in my Viper right now. And starting to attack right away. And I'm going to wait on my Viper Barrage because it can take out them and a couple other buildings at the same time. So I'm going to let my Viper cruise on over here. I might use the positioning of this guy and so I'm going to tell him to move over there and also go faster and do a lot more damage. So using my stim pack he's able to do a lot more damage and the uh, the uh, spiders did their damage already and uh, so here comes uh, the ah, my viper took out what he needed to do and I was my viper is pretty strong it was in two shots was able to take out his vipers so I'm gonna and there comes his uh, enemy troops. I'm going to freeze them, drop in my A-10, and that usually takes care of those guys. And now I'm going to bring in the rest of my troops so that we can uh, get the show on the road. Th one minute, 30 seconds to go. I'm going to uh, repair my Viper, set him over here a little bit, turn on my stim pack, do a barrage with the stim pack on the Viper, it can do quite a bit of damage. 
and he is almost dead anyway so using my other troops as a as a distraction for the uh, spiders was necessary I'm gonna bring my Viper over here I'm gonna apply the stim pack and set the uh, world on fire there and it's done he had strike force five strike force I had six and that's all we're going to do for that looks like I got about four less than three minutes left on my uh, time on my strike force so I'm going to go ahead and attack one thing to note is that uh, you have basically if you start and actually go to attack when you have less than 10 seconds or 5 seconds to go on your strike force you will have strike force for the rest of that time of that attack so uh, go ahead and use it uh, while you still have the time so you won't lose it uh, the other thing I want to note is that I never used my alliance reserves if you can get into the habit of not using your alliance reserves every single time you will be a better uh, commander and uh, not be such a burden on the alliance needing so many troops all the time only use your tr your alliance troops when you absolutely need them uh, otherwise because then if you don't need to use them you can use them as defense uh, when you sign off so I just destroyed the uh, 57 I don't have any other people that can take that level so uh, Major Cato probably can take take him out but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my second attack now you know what I'm gonna leave that sa second attack for Major Cato uh, since he's a 63 and he can take that I'll use uh, this last attack uh, to you know one flag or two flag bases that are needing to be cleaned up so I'm just gonna go through and check the other thing that you should do is also always check the uh, the Alliance chat to see if somebody has called a base uh, you don't want to be attacking the same base anyway just want to show you the capabilities and the things that I do when I'm going to war some of the things I do for my war Alliance friends is I usually load all the bases because I'm the highest of the other members here and then other people give me my with, uh, war troops so I, I give them a all my level 22s. Thanks for uh, liking and subscribing all my videos. This is Smokey Cat. Remember to like and subscribe. See ya!